E.T. himself. Two to three summers ago, a British medical research group spent a few years reviewing peer-reviewed medical journals and a couple of years digging into their validity. Result, 50% were deemed fake. There's a guy named John Wianidis at Stanford who would say it's more than 50%. In that study that we're gonna be looking at next week that says low carb diets cause heart attack and stroke risk. Basically, they're talking about it makes you calcify your plaque and they don't understand that calcified plaque is stable, soft plaque is not. We're gonna talk about a thing called participation bias or recruitment bias. Let me give you another example of classic participation or recruitment bias. Have I told you the number Number of studies that have shown the guys did the study and then their interpretation was we think metformin causes diabetes and it's like what metformin is given to treat diabetes now just think about it and this is a classic you need this type of concept participation bias so you do this what we call an environmental study you don't watch people in terms of you see them now you see them 10 years from now you see them when they were had their diagnosis of diabetes you see when they were put on metformin so you don't know Know any of that all you do is you get 10,000 people and you look to see which ones have a diagnosis of diabetes and which ones taking metformin and guess what you're gonna find you're gonna find that most of the people taking metformin have diabetes so can you believe it there are plenty of studies out there I reported on a couple of them just a couple of years ago one of them was at a conference in Asia where they were saying we reviewed all of this country's information and we think metformin causes diabetes so there you go and so why do I keep talking about science? Well, that's one of the reasons I do talk about science is because it is so easy to get bumfuzzled, as you can tell. I mean, even the guys that do the studies are quite often really ready to jump to the wrong conclusions. 